Hi, I'm Brian Granz and we're here at the Volo Auto Museum. Today we're going to talk about this Miami Vice Daytona. Tom McBurney built four Daytonas and two of them ended up on the TV series Miami Vice. The reason that the Daytona left Miami Vice was because Ferrari got quite upset that the TV show was portraying a fake Ferrari as a real one. So they decided, hey, you guys get rid of the fake Daytonas and we'll give you two brand new Testarossas. This is a marketing strategy for Ferrari as the Testarossa sales really took off after that. There is two Daytonas that were actually used on the TV set and what they did is Universal Studios traded the two Daytonas for a stunt car Testarossa, which was a fiberglass Testarossa built on a Pantera chassis. Now one of the cars ended up in private hands and it's, a, it's been accounted for for all these years. The second car kind of went missing. It went to Canada, it was used in a movie called Speed Zone with John Candy. But when the car came back, they kind of lost track of it. Well, we ended up in 2005, got a tip about the Miami Vice Daytona was sitting in a desert out in Lubbock, Texas. We purchased the car and it had you know, some providence to it stating that it was the Miami Vice car. We didn't know for 100% certainty whether it was or not. So we spent the past 10 years trying to research the car and find out. Now a lot of the stories that we got was the car simply didn't exist anymore. So it was a tough feat to chase, but after 10 years, we were able to get the case completely cracked and prove undeniably that this is one of two replica Daytonas that were used on the TV series Miami Vice. And it's also the only one in the world on public display. So if you'd like to see this car, come on out to the Volo Auto Museum. And be sure to look us up on our website, volocars.com, and find us on Facebook.